Annie Wagner says, seriously though, how can I be more hipster? <laughs> <laughs> Thing is that so all Zane? that there is to the question? No, yeah, that's it. Okay. First off, I love that the implication is you asked Will, "How can I be more hipster?" and he started laughing and you said, "No, ser- seriously, how do I become more hipster? You've got to answer this question for me." And there are a lot of there are a lot of answers to this, but the problem is if I l- rattle off all of these very obvious answers then it's going to become less hipster because everybody that listens to the podcast is going to jump on board and this can become more mainstream so we got to tell them something they don't want to do so that it stays hipster yes i gotta tell i gotta tell the world everything that they will hate to do that so if you do it man is that hipster all right yeah our tip to you is become a villain here's here's (laughs) the first one now this is from a girl right you said yep Mm -hmm. all right cool um, wear a speedo when you go sledding. This is a very mm-hmm. big one. Yes. No, but no other girls are gonna want to do that. Nobody's gonna be comfortable doing that. They're gonna. Yeah, say, I'll tell you what. You do that, it'll be hipster forever, friend. Yeah, hipster forever. Um, another one, another very important one. Uh, whenever you're cooking, <laughs> make sure that your window is open and you're yelling, "Help! Help! My cat caught on fire!" That's Help! Hipster. That's hipster. <laughs> because nobody else is going to want to be screaming for help while they're cooking. Mainly, uh, if you'd think, mainly because they're like, oh, I don't have a cat, or oh, I don't want to panic the neighbors. It's mainly because people don't want to be disturbed while they're cooking. They don't want anyone coming knocking at the door while they're trying to make some stir fry. And they'll be like, ugh, I, man, I'm looking at my stir fry. Now I got to deal with this old guy at the door. No. It's basically just one of those, you know, you got to cause a scene while you're doing something leisurely. Because nobody else oh, is like going to be that. down for that. All right. Cause a disruption, make people upset. Um, maybe not directly make people upset. That doesn't have to be your motive. No, that's why you're, that's why that's... you're yelling to the whole neighborhood because nobody knows who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, it's not directed then. And then all of them will do that thing where they hear the person being hurt in the middle of the alleyway and nobody responds because they assume everyone else is doing it. So that way they're, it's a victimless crime. This is a big one, though. This is a big one that many people won't do because it's so specific that only one person will ever do it which is the epitome of hipster yes this is this is prime hipster this is the origin the og hipster right here Mm -hmm. you have to well obviously wearing your harry potter reading glasses they can't just be fake harry potter glasses they have to be real reading glasses they look a little Mm -hmm. bit like harry potter you go up to the roof of the smallest building within the largest city near you and you dump a fake bag Full of, this is gonna sound so weird a fake bag full of real money onto the entire street underneath you and then you yell i laced that suckers try and get me now and then you fly off in your good year blimp but don't get very far because Are you, you hit- reading off a script <laughs> what in the world is happening right now Dude, I'm good at this, but you don't get very far. You're just making stuff up of... You don't get very far because you hit the buildings because, remember, you're in the city and you're also on the smallest building in that city. And you're wearing reading glasses, so you can't see very far. (laughs) This is also... (laughs) Also, I gotta say that the the pilot of the blimp was Bugs Bunny, and you should have known better that 2D animation has a rough time piloting 3d vehicles but a good year blimp you're not going to damage the building at all this is very important no one in the building is going to get hurt but the blimp is gonna go down and as soon as you get down to that bottom floor you got to walk in and you got to ask the first person you see where is the nearest sears i gotta know you gotta lay this on me i gotta know all right (laughs) all right (laughs) are you sticking with me because we're almost there oh we're still going good as soon as (laughs) I'm telling you, we're getting through this. We are getting through this. As soon as the person tells you where the nearest seer is, because I promise you, they're gonna know. As soon as you, as soon as you know, you go there. But you knock on the door three times, and the person will say, "Oh, you finally returned because you've been there before in a past life." Because you know, in past lives, seers were all the rage. As you walk in there, he'll hand you a magical orb, and as soon as he hands you that magical orb, you say, "It's not as cool as I remember," and then you walk out and you go home. That's how you be hipster. Thanks for mm-hmm. thanks for uh, thanks for asking, Annie. I hope that helps.